Okay, so have you experienced jumping through hoops for a narcissistic person that are hoops the narcissistic person won't jump through themselves? Have you had standards and rules placed on your life in any way that the narcissist does not adhere to? The double standards of a narcissist and how they make you jump through hoops. Let's talk about that. My name is Lisa Colucci. I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's just jump right in. Okay, so if you're parallel parenting, co-parenting with a narcissist or a toxic person, you have probably experienced this. If your parent was a narcissist, you have probably experienced this. When they create a rule or there's rules created by the court system or whatever, if, you're, if you have a parenting contract, right? And they interpret the rules. They make the rules or interpret the rules. And then they form those interpretations of the rules to serve themselves, right? And then they expect you to follow the rules. And when you don't follow the rules, and you continue to jump through hoops to try and make it right, to try and do the right thing. And then they tell you, you're not doing the right thing. You're wrong. And, and, and then at the same time, those rules are things they don't follow. So for example, they might say um, drop off time after school during the summer when there is no school is, I don't know, six o'clock. But then randomly, they will drop the child off at three o'clock. And then they'll say it's open to interpretation based on the parent's needs. What? Like they make up rules, right? They go along with it. If you tried that, they would say, no, it's six o'clock. That's what it says. I don't know what you're trying to do, blah, blah, blah. Right? So they don't just communicate and say, hey, can you do this? They just walk all over rules. That's kind of a really simple one, but it's an easy one to understand because when you look at the more twisted, complex things that go on, you can apply it, right? You know what I'm talking about if you've experienced this. They do not follow the same rules they expect other people to follow. They don't follow the same guidelines. They don't have the same boundaries because they don't have the allowance for other people to have boundaries, but they certainly can set their own, right? So if you have a, not a toxic parent, they might have expectations of you that are really high. They're expecting you to communicate with them and maybe answer their texts within a certain amount of time and you have to give certain amount of time on phone calls and you have to show up and do a bunch of work for them or whatever it is but they don't offer anything back to your life and they're perfectly capable to do so so it's sort of like serve me serve me serve me don't expect anything from me i'm the parent right and so there's different rules for each situation and there's nothing that there's nothing that aligns for both of you and it's not real relationship, you can see in those situations, it's all about the narcissist's agenda. It's all about what the narcissist or the toxic person wants and what they require for their life and how it serves their getting of supply and how it serves them. It isn't about the big picture. It isn't about your children. It isn't about your relationship with your parent. It's about the narcissist. Have you experienced anything like this? Have you jumped through hoops? Have you had rules placed upon you that are unreasonable considering they don't follow the same rules or the same guidelines and they don't live by what they speak? Have you noticed that? Let's talk more about that later. Let me know in the comments what you have experienced. I will see you guys next time if you need coaching or group coaching Check out the information in the main description of every video. There's info on peer support as well. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.